please unmute yourself unmute unmute your good afternoon thank you very much organizers participants and my friends we are friends for a long time 30 years plus so this is my privilege to be there along with other friends this i'm talking and emphasizing on circular economy in respect to real estate housing sector dhaka bangladesh and especially higher real estate sector housing mm -hmm. high ends had stated some high standards and that is why uh, this is high end real estate housing sometimes this is called a sapphire type or diamond type something and i have set some levels those are like individual levels next slide please I have set some levels to explain the circular economy. How does it work? So I am first, with the extraction of the resources, I have decided set individual level, then the neighborhood level, developer come business level, city level, and institutional housing level, and research and development level. Let me explain how does it work. This is the level, individual level, it starts with the extraction of resources, materials, design, procurements, and eco-friendly designs, ecology, and appropriate technology. And I want to erase at this stage, design by registered professionals, flexible and incremental must be, and thus re reduction of materials, space, and environment of threats. And these individuals are part of neighborhood level. A neighborhood should be sustainable with all these individuals. And this level is, should have the duty of control, design parameters, quality guidelines, reduction of all consumable waste, toxic environmental, social, economic challenges to form a long span projects. I mean projects, not the individuals, because all the individuals collectively make a neighborhood successful. At this neighborhood level, the society will deal with circular economy, quality of neighborhood, skylines, green roof aesthetics, ethics, urban design control and management. And this individual and neighborhood will go to the developers who are the business persons to develop the neighborhood and the individuals must have to maintain circular economy techniques, quality of neighborhood, skylines, aesthetics and ethics, and to reduce, reduce the material permanency and to reduce poor construction quality management. And after developers level, altogether individual neighborhood and developer, they move to the city level directly or, and vice versa in, to incorporate the circular economy, green building codes, laws, bylaws, and people's participation. And these should be developed and by the way, and must be financed, have, must be in incentives and penalties, incentives, so that monitoring, supervision, and guidance become better for the developer, neighborhood, and individuals by lowering and adding VAT for the developer. And this city level mostly deals with court laws and bylaws and people participation. And this is actually backed and supported by institutional advising levels and the research and development levels. Research and development level, institutional level, works directly with the city level rules and regulations. These are the, in Bangladesh, Dhaka. In Dhaka, this is Raju, that is Building Development Authority. This institutional advising level is to improvise circular economy, all the R's, the R plus and greens. This is regeneration for the next level market, refurbishing, renovations, remodeling, remodification, renaming, adjustments and regradation. This institutional level and the research development, they are directly working with the city level and the people and neighborhood and the developer. That is research and development will be done for this uh, materials and material and techniques and the new generation and building materials. Why? Once at this stage of individual and neighborhood and developers, they do go for development stages and phases flexible, incremental, and rebuild and rethinking about their interiors and refurbishing. They, at the same, when they extract some materials and resources and some of the phases, they actually 
it discards some of the materials. It's not the used or used or bad materials. These are the excess materials they don't need for their purposes. As this, this set as a high-end real estate housing, they have a high standard. So this can be done through the research and development institution advising limit to another circular economy system so that this can be used by another standard buildings and neighborhood levels. Here, I give an, a special emphasis to institutional advising level and research and development level, a, why? That is individuals and neighborhoods, peoples, and this can be done party, partially and particularly uh, from the academic career development, research and development and professional upholding. And they can know, they know better for what is needed and for their development. So next generation circular economy system will follow this generation. And this way, this is the role on. Next slide, please. I actually, due to timing, I just uh, want to summarize this slide. That is when we talk about circular economy, that includes a lot of refurbishing also to set the standard and maintain the standard. Once used for five years or 10 years, then we need to change our boundary walls or green areas and we need to refurbishing. Or is there some sort of compensation also that we use the building on a virgin green land. So we can compensate that green land uh, in a way that we can use our sun shares as planters, accessible planters, and the car porches as planters, and the roofs as, as the green community levels areas for relaxations. I also want to say that we can reduce and redevelopment these phases, materials, and, and the services, and a lot of reduction and paid energy systems in one key so that uh, it can be controlled centrally or, or by the cooperatives so that we can minimize our energy and the cost like a gas, electricity, and the all utilities infrastructures, like the hotels, we can use, use the card and you can you switch on and we can use, take the card and we just switch off the system. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Here also, I just uh, summarize, the like this, uh, uh, this is a C and C plus, that is then, economy plus, circular economy plus arts and greens. So we try to establish our green landscape and agriculture on roof and increase life extent of the building by using construction techniques of heat, nature and water and solar also. And, and I especially emphasize that we don't need land demarcations of the building plots. And this can be the one green spaces and a good uh, energy and nature, in nature inviting areas. We want to reduce and reuse or recycle the solid waste by composting. This within the green park itself. I have seen this in many parts of the other countries also. Park and compost are together and there is no odd smells. We, we can resettle wastewater treatment as a source of, uh, as a part of the Raju Development Authority. And we can restore solar panels for common areas for like lighting, street lights and CCTVs and roof to, at rooftops. We can rethink urban design of neighborhood by prefab industry. Why do I say that? That if the construction management, we are now also we are talking to other buildings that are not to make any noise. So uh, we can reduce the noise by prefab construction materials and power component. So we can bring those and use here. And so we can go for uh, less noisy construction mechanisms this, and at the same time a peaceful neighborhood. So this way we can ensure lifetime of the building span and also want to create some water also for recreation at the same time firefighting pond for our neighborhood. So it's very clear that I want to mention this uh, higher real housing stage as part of the neighborhood, not an individual project. So this is a simple, it's very simple and small uh, presentation. Uh, we can go into detail if needed. Thank you very much.